Just when you thought Disney couldn't possibly get any more racist, Chris Evans, aka Captain Islamophobia, tells the world that 1.6 billion people of color are total idiots simply because of their race, which is Islam. Chris Evans is so white, he could star as Prophet Muhammad in the upcoming biopic, Pedophile, the life and times of the most obvious false prophet in history. You might think that given Muhammad's sexual attraction to little girls, Disney employees would absolutely love him since so many of them are sexually attracted to little girls. But you'd be wrong. Because even though Disney and Islam are both dedicated to sexualizing children, they are diametrically opposed when it comes to LGBTQ issues. You'll recall Disney's public demand that five-year-olds be given lessons on changing their gender identity. That demand was not warmly received by most Muslims. Of course, if Disney had only insisted that it's okay for a grown man to marry a five-year-old, there would have been no dispute with Islam. If you look just at the Qur'an, you will get the indication that you can have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. No. If you just read the Qur'an, it is halal, it would, just, it would be halal to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. The Qur'an doesn't say, doesn't say anywhere in the Qur'an that the woman has to be pubescent. Get me one verse in the Qur'an which says the woman has to be pubescent. One verse. But Disney isn't insisting that it's okay for a grown man to marry a five-year-old. Instead, Disney is obsessed with exposing dreamers of all ages to everything that has anything to do with the LGBTQIA plus MNOPZ to the third power agenda. Just listen to an executive producer of animation at Disney. Our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like, my like not at all secret gay agenda. I don't have to be afraid to like, let's have these two characters kiss. Let's in the background, this like I was just wherever I could just basically adding queerness to like, the, if you see anything queer in the show. Notice Disney openly admits that they have an agenda, their words, not mine, an agenda to insert queerness wherever they can find a spot for it. My like, not at all secret gay agenda, wherever I could, just basically adding queerness. Not surprisingly, Disney inserted a random lesbian kiss into the new animated film, Lightyear. Speaking of inserting issues into videos, this is a good spot to shamelessly promote Atlas VPN. Do you have any idea how insane you are if you're using the internet without a VPN? Some of you have like eight different firearms in your house so you can protect yourself from people who want to steal your computer, but you do absolutely nothing to protect yourself from people who want to steal the data on your computer. When you go online, you need a VPN, a virtual private network. So click on the link in the description box and get a subscription to Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN hides your identity online. It encrypts your data and masks your IP address. Companies and hackers don't know where you are. They don't know what country you're in. Atlas VPN blocks malicious links, ads, and trackers. It warns you if your personal information or passwords have been compromised. It protects you in ways that guns can't protect you. If you sign up now, you can be fully covered for just $1.99 per month, cheaper than a cup of coffee. That covers all of your devices with one subscription. Plus, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. What have you got to lose? So don't be stupid. Click the link in the description box, download the app, get a subscription, turn it on, and protect your privacy. Now, once you're protected online, you're obviously going to want to kiss me to thank me. So let's get back to the kiss that just lost Disney a ton of money and produced the latest crack in one of history's strangest political alliances. Lightyear stars super woke racist Chris Evans as the real Buzz Lightyear, not the unwoke Tim Allen toy Buzz Lightyear from the Toy Story films. This is supposed to be the real Space Ranger that the toy is based on. The film also features a lesbian Space Ranger named Hawthorne who kisses her romantic partner, another woman. For the record, 
I do not care about Disney putting a lesbian kiss in a movie. They could put a thousand LGBTQ kisses in their movies. It's their company. People who want to watch it can watch it. People who don't want to watch it can avoid it. People who want to complain can complain. I'm not upset at Disney. If anyone should be upset at Disney, it's the stockholders. Disney treats stockholders like Sid from Toy Story treats toys. And here we have to give Disney credit where credit is due. In the past, Disney loved lecturing Americans on various moral issues, but Disney would instantly change their tune when they were dealing with China or Muslim countries. They would re-edit films and change their advertising so that the company could make endless trunks of money from foreign markets. This made Disney look like absolute hypocrites. It seemed like Disney only cared about money. They were going woke here in the U.S. in order to make money, but they wouldn't dare try it in China or Saudi Arabia. But this time, they're standing their ground. They're not backing down. So, whether you agree with them or disagree with them, they're at least trying to be consistent for once. The result is that Lightyear has been banned in Saudi Arabia, Indonesia, Malaysia, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Oman, the Palestinian territories, Qatar, and Syria. Given the massive popularity of the Toy Story franchise, Lightyear is bombing at the box office. But Disney isn't budging. In fact, Disney is going on the offensive against Islam. In a recent interview, racist Chris Evans was asked about the pushback against the film for the infamous lesbian kiss. Whenever you do something about representation or diversity or whatever, you sure. there's always pushback. Um, I mean, what would you? I mean, how would you counter that? I suppose. How does racist Chris Evans respond to all the Muslim nations that are banning the film? Well, I mean, the real truth is those people are idiots. Um. What? I mean, how would you counter that, I suppose? Well, I mean, the real truth is those people are idiots. What did racist Chris Evans just call Muslims? Those people are idiots. Please, tell us more, Captain Islamophobia. The real truth is those people are idiots. I mean, I think throughout history you can see every time there's been social advancement as we wake up, I mean, the... the the American story, the human story, is, is one of constant social awakening and growth. And that's, that's, what, that's what makes us good. So, social awakening and growth make us good. What about people who oppose the sort of social awakening and growth that racist Chris Evans is talking about? And, and you know, when that happens, there's always going to be people who are uh, afraid and... Uh, uh, unaware and, and trying to hold on to what was before. So there are people who are afraid of change and growth. And these are the people who have a problem with a lesbian kiss in a Pixar film. There are Christians who have a problem with a lesbian kiss in a Pixar film. There are conservatives who have a problem with a lesbian kiss in a Pixar film. But a large part of the backlash against the film is coming from the Muslim world, isn't it? And what did racist Chris Evans call people who have a problem with the film? Those people are idiots. And how should open-minded, tolerant viewers respond to Muslims who don't want their kids to see two animated women kissing? But those people die off like dinosaurs. And so, you know, I think the, the goal is to pay them no mind, march forward, and, and, and embrace the growth that makes us human. Wait. Did racist Chris Evans just compare Muslims to dinosaurs? Those people die off like dinosaurs. Ironically, speaking of dinosaurs, Lightyear is flopping so hard it got beat out by Jurassic World Dominion, which is a terrible movie that was already on its second week. Maybe racist Chris Evans should be trying to learn something from dinosaurs instead of comparing them to Muslims. Now, let me get this straight. Gina Carano gets fired by Disney for telling people to stop hating each other. But racist Chris Evans calls Muslims idiots and says we should all wait for them to die off, spreading massive hate towards Muslims, and he gets to be the poster boy for Disney? 
I don't know about you, but for the past two decades, I've been told over and over again, thousands upon thousands of times, that the only possible reason anyone would ever disagree with anything that has anything to do with Islam is racism. If you disagree with anything in Islam, it's because you just don't like brown people. That sounds weird to me, but that's what I heard. And now we have Chris Evans, a man who's so white, he makes Chris Hemsworth look like Chris Rock, and he's telling the world, with the Disney Pixar logo right beside his head, that Muslims are idiots, and that progress is waiting for Muslims to die off like dinosaurs. What's the only possible explanation here? The only possible explanation, based on everything I've heard since 9-11, is that Chris Evans is a racist. The real reason he calls Muslims idiots has nothing to do with diversity or growth. It's because he hates brown people. And Disney Pixar is the most racist company in the world because they admit that they have an agenda that's going to constantly cause Muslims to oppose their movies. And whenever Muslims oppose their movies, the stars of their movies are going to call Muslims idiots and say that they can't wait for Muslims to die. How in the name of common sense did these two diametrically opposed groups, one group that's so incredibly dedicated to promoting LGBTQ issues to infinity and beyond, they don't care if they sink multiple multi-billion dollar companies to do it, and another group that has a zero tolerance policy when it comes to all things LGBTQ. I don't know. I'm impressed that they've held their alliance together for so long. They must have a common enemy that they both really, really hate. But now they're attacking each other, and calling each other names, and boycotting each other. The alliance is collapsing faster than Disney stock. And watching this alliance collapse is going to be far more entertaining than anything Pixar's working on. I hope someone makes a movie out of it.